Good New Year's Eve and welcome to the NCW Life Evening News. I'm Grant Olson. Before we get to today's top news stories, let's take a quick look outside our weather window. And after kind of a rather cloudy start to our Thursday, boy, things got nice around the Wenatchee Valley anyway this afternoon with some blue sky out there. The sun poked through and that made for a beautiful Christmas or I should say New Year's Eve day. This is our beautiful shot. McNeil Canyon, Sky Fi Tower camera, and way off in the distance, you can see Lake Chelan and the beautiful Cascades. What a great shot from this afternoon. Temperatures today, yeah, we said we'd warm up and we did this afternoon. We'll talk more about that coming up, but this weekend, a little bit of a break today, and then starting tomorrow, we're gonna be rainy. In fact, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and all the way into the middle part of next week, a good chance for rain each day. That means melting snow, which also could mean rises on small streams and creeks and also some localized flooding as well. We'll talk much more about that coming up a little bit later on in weather. And now a few of the stories we're following for you tonight. The snowstorm that hit north central Washington on Wednesday morning caused some major problems for semi drivers on Interstate 90. The two men suspected in last week's fatal shooting in a Wenatchee apartment are now charged with second degree murder. Workers earning minimum wage in Washington will see 19 cents more per hour in their paycheck starting in 2021. And about a dozen nonprofit agencies in North Central Washington will share in $450,000 in equity relief grants from the state. But first, we begin tonight. Another search of the Columbia River launched late last night in Wenatchee after a report of a second person that, that day jumping from the pipeline pedestrian bridge. Wenatchee police have not confirmed that someone jumped, but police, Wenatchee Police Chief Edgar, Police Captain Edgar Reinfeld said just before 10 p.m., one witness said they saw someone go into the river, and a second witness said they thought they heard someone go in. About 3.18 yesterday morning, a 21-year-old man reportedly jumped from the bridge closer to the East Wenatchee side, but searchers have been in, unable to locate him. Reinfeld said after the Wednesday night report, Chelan County Sheriff's Office Marine 3 launched a search but didn't locate anybody. Reinfeld said a review of Chelan County PUD video of the bridge did not provide a good enough angle to confirm that someone jumped Wednesday night. A PUD camera apparently did confirm that someone jumped in that early morning incident. Well, the snowstorm that hit north central Washington on Wednesday morning caused some major problems for semi drivers on I 90. One driver, 46 year old Juan Contreras Contreras of Mattawa, had to be transported to Quincy Valley Medical Center with minor injuries after his semi spun out near the westbound off ramp at George, then went into the median, struck the cable barriers, and jackknifed. The wreck about 11.30 a.m. blocked a lane of I-90 for about two hours. Contreras Contreras was cited for driving with wheels off the roadway. Less than an hour before the George accident, an eastbound semi slid off the interstate and jackknifed into the median just west of the Vantage Bridge. Washington State Patrol Trooper John Bryant said the driver was driving too fast for conditions. And about an hour before that accident, Snoqualmie Pass eastbound was also closed after drivers of several semis failed to chain up and then got stuck in the snow. Well, the two men suspected in last week's fatal shooting in a Wenatchee apartment are now charged with second degree murder. Prosecutors filed counts yesterday against 47-year-old Shane Earl Hagen of Wenatchee and 25-year-old Brendan Kane Ripper of East Wenatchee. Wenatchee police say the two were involved in the killing of 36-year-old Jesus Manuel Garcia of Toppenish, who died of a gunshot wound in the 600 block of Idaho Street back on December 23rd. Video surveillance allegedly shows both men leaving the scene, Hagen with a bullet wound in his leg and carrying a handgun. Both are also charged with second degree assault for the incident and witness intimidation for allegedly threatening a witness in the case. They remain in the Chelan County Jail on $1 million bond. Workers earning minimum wage in Washington will see 19 cents more per hour in their paycheck starting in 2021. The state minimum wage rises January 1st to $13.69 per hour. That's up from $13.50 this year. 
It's the first cost of living adjustment made to the rate since 2016 when voters approved a series of mandatory increases to take the wage up from the $11 rate that was offered that year. Well, about a dozen nonprofit agencies in North Central Washington will share in $450,000 in equity relief grants from the state. The grants from the Department of Commerce help fund outreach for programs serving black, indigenous, and communities of color in Washington. Recipients here in North Central Washington include CAFE, the, Washington, the Wenatchee River Institute, Hand in Hand Immigration Services, the Chelan Teen Center, and Stage Kids. Grants amount for each program range from $25,000 to $50,000. Well, coming up next, the rates of new COVID-19 cases in Chelan and Douglas County showed small increases this week after three straight weeks of declining numbers. We'll have the final COVID-19 briefing of 2020 from state health officials and continuing vaccination efforts re reach Wenatchee PD, the Quincy Healthcare Workers, and almost 500 Okanagan County residents so far. I'm Grant Olson, and you're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Values and innovation in honoring the life of each family we serve is part of the ministry of Heritage Memorial Chapel. Our staff is committed to walk with your family with compassion through this time of grief. We are here to help and here to serve the right kind of help when you need it most. Heritage Memorial Chapel. Here's to five billion miles of amazing. Five billion miles of... This is so cool. Five billion miles of helping you stay safe. Five billion miles of passing the pump. Five billion miles of... Woo! <laughs> That's five billion miles driven around the world. The all-electric 2020 Nissan LEAF. The extended range 2020 LEAF is now available at Town Nissan, right behind Costco in East Wenatchee. I have a hereditary bone disease from my, the female side of my family. My bone loss was so significant that you could almost see the roots. I became embarrassed and I started covering my mouth. Eating became very difficult as far as I stopped eating apples, corn on the cob, things that you just eat as it is without utensils. Dr. Dennis was my dentist prior to having implants. We talked about traditional dentures or implants, and implants was the only way really that I could go. John Divis and all of his office staff, they checked on me throughout all the processes. I would never go anyplace else. Today, I can eat corn on the cob. I can have apples. Thanks to Dr. John Divis and his staff, I have my smile back. I feel more confident. I am me again. This is John Divis. Let our team help you solve your dental needs. Welcome back. In another news, the rates of new COVID-19 cases in Chelan and Douglas counties showed small increases this week after three straight weeks of declining numbers. The weekly thermographic from the Chelan Douglas Health District released yesterday showed 665.5 new cases per 100,000 residents over the past 14 days. The previous week's rate was 662.4. By this morning, the health district said the new case rates had increased to 696.3 new cases per 100,000 population over the past two weeks. The number of new cases in the two counties began to surge in late October before peaking the week of December 9th when the health district reported more than 1,000 new cases per 100,000 residents over the previous two weeks. Confluence Health reported yesterday it's treating 24 COVID-19 patients at Central Washington Hospital, with 10 of those patients in the intensive care unit, eight on ventilators. The hospital's COVID-19 patient load had reached as high as 37 earlier this month. Well, with the close of the year and months worth of data, disease specialists in Washington are getting a clearer picture of where COVID-19 is hitting the hardest. 
In the final briefing of 2020 from the state's pandemic response team, Dr. Scott Lindquist discussed the epidemiology of the virus and what the curve looks like for 2021. This is what we call an epi curve. This is a number of case counts since the beginning of time. Again, the small bump in the very beginning, uh, flattening and actual decrease as we did social distancing. Another bump in cases and flattening as we again did social uh, restrictions and distancing and puts us right here. And again, this is the same similar message as last week. We are in a very precarious position. This is the highest rate of cases in Washington state since the beginning, but we're starting to see this downward trend. This is all very encouraging. Again, a lot of uh, social distancing and restrictions put in place. And again, don't interpret this partial data yet until it's complete, but this is actually a good sign for us that we're seeing some downward movement. When we look at our non-healthcare settings where the outbreaks have occurred, the largest number of outbreaks ever reported 221 were occurring in food service and restaurants. Again, remember, I just said there were about 1500 in the long term care facility. So this is obviously a smaller scale than long term care, but food service, restaurants, shelters and homeless services, construction, child care, agriculture have been the big drivers ever reported. But as we put restaurant restrictions into place reporting in the most recent week we had no outbreaks in food service and restaurants reported the largest number were occurring in shelters and homeless service and before we send you to break almost 60,000 people in washington have received at least their first dose of the two-part coronavirus vaccine among those now are local first responders in wenatchee and elsewhere in north central washington Wenatchee Police Chief Steve Crown and other officers in his department got their shots Wednesday through Confluence Health. Meanwhile, in Quincy, medical workers and emergency crews received vaccinations in a drive through organized by Samaritan Healthcare. Okanagan County Public Health says as of yesterday, 488 people in that county have received their first vaccine treatment. You're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Coming up next, tonight's feature story and your complete local weather forecast. That and much more still to come on the NCW Life Evening News. Please stay with us. Bring the whole family up to Stormy Mountain Brewing and local public house in historic downtown Chelan. Applewood smoked brisket, street style tacos, and our award-winning barbecue rubs and sauces. Our meals pair perfectly with our exciting lineup of craft ales made right here in Chelan. We've got room for big groups or give us a call for catering. So grab the kids and check out the fun at Stormy Mountain Brewing and local public house located in the heart of Chelan. Family roles change with time. You may find yourself being an unpaid caregiver to a loved one. Caregiving can be rewarding, but also stressful. Taking care of yourself is vital. Aging and Adult Care of Central Washington has low or no cost services for unpaid caregivers, such as in-home support, care supplies, and counseling. Connect in your local area by calling Aging and Adult Care at 800-572-4459 and mention you're interested in caregiver support. Welcome back to the NCW Life Evening News. In tonight's feature story, mayors from several North Central Washington cities are featured in a new video from the Chelan Douglas Health District urging residents to continue doing their part to prevent the spread of COVID-19 and get businesses back open. 
if people are um, expressing that the pandemic is exaggerated, I think we can see now with our numbers climbing in our community that it's not an exaggeration. The risk is real. This isn't the time to start flaunting and, and, and sort of, um, you know, giving up and just going out and doing stuff. This is the time to hunker down and give it one more shot. Your medical professionals are tired and uh, they need a break and we need to do the best we can to try to help them. We want to get our businesses and our communities right here in the valley open again and the quickest and best way to do that is to wear our masks, social distance, be safe and get through this issue so that we can get our stores and our businesses and our people back to work. We all are looking forward to getting through this pandemic and we're looking forward to a healthy economy. We're looking forward to getting to our friends and family. We're looking forward to being able to travel. But for right now to keep the hospital sa staff safe, to keep uh, the economy functioning, we need to really m minimize, flatten that curve back out. It's just around the corner and we're going to get there and there's lots to look forward to, so stay positive and, um, and we'll get there. All right, time now to take a look at your North Central Washington weather forecast on this final day of 2020. Whew. <laughs> Good riddance to 2020, right? Here's a look outside our weather window, and this is from this afternoon. Looking at, there's Lake Chelan right there. This is our uh, SkyFi Tower camera, McNeil Canyon. There we go, and a little bit of light snow on the Cascades. We did have some clouds this morning, cleared this afternoon, and that allowed some sun to peek through. And actually, it was a pretty nice day out there. Unofficially high temperature this afternoon, 36 degrees. So finally, we're above normal a little bit, five degrees above, about where we we should be as we started our day at 25 degrees this morning record high 49 and that was set back in 1998 once again I'll tell you if you folks remember 1968 you remember these cold days 13 below our record low set back in 1968 here's our updated uh, precipitation total from yesterday five one hundredths of an inch and that gets us now to 5.94 but look at that we are 2.03 inches behind where we should have been at the end of the year. We should be just under eight inches for the year, about 7.97. And there we are after this very dry year. Sunrise this morning, 748, and the sunset this afternoon at 420. Let's take a look now at how your New Year's Day will shape up and it will begin our rainy period. And we're going to see a lot of days of rain. We're going to get to that in a second, but 39 in Moses Lake, upper 30s as well in Quincy and Afreda, 37 in Wenatchee, 36 Leavenworth and 37 in Chelan. And I hope you enjoy tomorrow and have a great start to your 2021. Let's get to our surface loop now. We'll begin with tonight. Midnight. That's right. That's when we get into 2021. Weather at midnight, cloudy sky, we could see a 30% chance of rain and snow developing, and that will be after midnight. So here's our situation as we turn the clocks from 2020 to 2021. And then for our New Year's Day, going to be a wet one. Cloudy skies, a 60% chance of rain showers. It's all because of this area of low pressure and dragging all this moisture up into the Pacific Northwest. And that trend will continue for about four or five days. Saturday, mostly cloudy, a 50% chance for mainly evening rain. A little breezy, too on Saturday and nice and mild. We're going to jump up to about at least 40 degrees as we start our weekend on Saturday. Some higher temperatures around as well. Sunday is going to be a wet one too, at least later on. Mostly cloudy, unseasonably warm. Sunday, we are talking temperatures between 45 and 50 for many locations on Sunday. Monday will cool down just a little bit. We're going to stay in the 40s. Mostly cloudy, still going to be a lot of clouds around from this area of low pressure. Still a 50% chance of rain and boy you can see almost the entire state inundated with at least a rain or snow event or even a rain snow mix Tuesday not going to change up that forecast much mostly cloudy a 50% chance of rain once again almost all of us inundated with some shower activity and we're going to stay with that pattern at the end of our forecast Wednesday too. 50% chance of showers temperatures will remain above normal we are talking highs on Wednesday once again between about 40 and 45 degrees Let's take a look now at your seven day forecast tonight. 30 degrees as we welcome in 2021 and goodbye 2020. That's for sure. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to take off. 
Beautiful work there, Uriah. 60% chance of rain tomorrow. 37 our high temperature. And look at this warm up then as we get into the weekend. 41 Saturday, 44 Sunday. It looks like Sunday might be our break day because most of that rain will be late in the day. And then back to the wet stuff for the first part and middle part of next week with high temperatures right around 40 degrees. And that's a look at your local weather forecast. Coming up next, tonight's features or tonight's sports report with Eric Granstrom and more as the NCW Life Evening News continues right after this. So Pam, how's your mom doing? She's okay. She's struggling. She'd like to stay in her house and it's getting harder for her to do the daily chores. What kinds of problems is she having? Just basic house cleaning, you know, uh, taking care of her house, yard work, taking care of her medicine. Mm -hmm. It does sound exhausting. It is very exhausting and I always worry about her. Aging and adult care can assist you or your loved one to remain comfortably and safely in their own home. Contact them today to start the conversation. Green Motion e-bikes have rolled into Wenatchee. We've got fun, affordable e-bikes for the whole family. Portable e-bikes that fit right in the trunk of your car. Fat tire mountain bikes plus unique vintage style bikes you won't find anywhere else. Get some exercise with pedal assist or just cruise up to 20 miles per hour with the throttle. Starting under $1,000, Green Motion e-bikes are affordable fun for the whole family. a sports update on the NCW Life Channel. And a happy Thursday to you. Kind of feels like Friday. Everything's all kind of out of whack around here. Gonzaga women's basketball team not out of whack. They used a balance attack to beat Pepperdine. 58-42 the final. Jill Townsend led the way with 13 points while sisters Leanne and Jen Worth each had 12 to help the Bulldogs improve to 2-0 in conference play and 7-2 on the season. 23rd ranked Gonzaga women are off until Saturday when they'll host St. Mary's at the McCarthy Athletic Center. That game at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Also on the women's college basketball schedule tomorrow, Washington State is scheduled at Utah at 11 in the morning with Washington at Colorado at 2. Then on Sunday, they switch sites with Washington Washington State playing at Colorado at 11. The Huskies and Utes will follow in Salt Lake City at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Men's college basketball action today. Washington hosts Arizona. That's at 5 o'clock on the Pac-12 Network right now as, as we uh, talk. Washington State and Arizona were post Arizona State, that is, were postponed. Saturday, it's Washington hosting ASU at 3.30. Number one, Gonzaga hosts San Francisco at 7. Washington State takes on Arizona at uh, 7.30. Coming up on the NCW Life uh, channel tonight and into the new year, Hockey Night tonight takes us back to the start of the 2019-2020 season for the Wenatchee Wild when they hosted Vernon at the Town Toyota Center September 13th. Our checker has the call at 7 o'clock. Big 9 playoff basketball tomorrow night as we ring in the new year with last year's tilt between Wenatchee and Eastmont from Eastmont High School. Boys game is called by yours truly. Starts at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. I'll be back courtside at Wenatchee High School Saturday for regional playoff basketball. First at 2 o'clock, it's Cashmere and Kingsway Christian in the boys 1A state tournament. Then at 7, it's the Cashmere Girls against Nooksack Valley. We'll have a double dip of hockey Sunday with our checker on the call as uh, the Wild take on Vernon at 2 o'clock, followed by Wenatchee and Trail at 7. Of course, the Seahawks will be in Arizona to take on the San Francisco 49ers Sunday afternoon at 125. San Francisco's home county in California raised the limitations on activities due to coronavirus, so the Niners had to move the rest of their season to Glendale. No matter where the game is played, Coach Pete Carroll says a guy they'll have to keep a close eye on is fullback Kyle Juszczyk. Carroll says the pro bowler out of Harvard is a handful. Man, he does everything. He's a great player. He, he is, he is as, as meaningful a part of an offense as any player in the NFL. I mean, he, he just, other than the quarterback position, he has, he has so much that he offers an offense, and, and he's so good at so many things. Um, I think he's in the Pro Bowl for the fifth or sixth time or something in a row, you know what I mean? Because he's the only one doing what he does. He's that special. He can play tight end. He can be out of the backfield. He can lead, you know, on, the, on all the blocking principles that they have. He can carry the football. He's good in the red zone. He's good in short yardage. He's just a great football player. And, and uh, I think it's a really great statement that Kyle made when he, when he chose him, you know, early on. He went out and sought him out and paid him and, and uh, knew exactly what he was going to do with him. And, boy, they haven't. They haven't missed a beat. He's, he's really a big time player. At the halfway point of the season, many critics were calling for Ken Norton's job. 
The defensive coordinator was in the midst of a dreadful season with Seattle allowing historically bad numbers, especially through the air. Norton says the turnaround was a matter of sticking to what they believed. Well, you just have to play the game uh, long enough. Uh, and if you watch the games, the numbers were not telling the story. You know, the, the guys would play fantastic football for three quarters, and then we'd be up so many points, and all of a sudden, uh, you know, it wasn't as sharp as it needed to be. It was a matter of playing a full game. It's a matter of being consistent. It's a matter of uh, the right players uh, and the right group staying together and, uh, you know, having a constant uh, uh, one set of guys, and, then, you know, it was a revolving door by different guys coming in. But at, at, the, at the end of the day, it's about playing ball the right way, doing right longer. And uh, you just have to take your hats off to the guys of, of believing, understanding the scheme, really, uh, really uh, uh, not uh, taking uh, anything and, and uh, just deciding the type of team they wanted to be and the type of commitment that they put to it. And now, um, now all their hard work is paying off. For nine-year veteran linebacker Bobby Wagner, the arrows slung Norton's way were unfair. And now that things have turned around, he'd like to see more praise come Norton's way. Uh, I don't know if y'all should be eating some crow, but I definitely think that there's some some praise. You know, um, I think oftentimes um, when something's not going right, everybody is quick to have a, a negative opinion. But then when it's when it's fixed or when it does something, you know, when it changes, you know, that positive side of it doesn't necessarily get, you know, as pushed out there or as amplified as the negative side. So I would say, you know, for everybody who was, um, you know, talking trash or having their negative opinion about North, I would like to hear, you know, the positive just as loud as the negative. You know what I mean? So that's what I would say. For us, we didn't never focus on it. We understood it wasn't just him. You know, we understood it was it was all of us. We all played a part in, you know, what we were doing in the beginning of the season versus where we are now. And so um, he, does, he deserves a lot of praise. He deserves a lot of, um, you know, he's a big reason for why we're able to change it around. And um, I would like to hear a little bit more positivity. Seattle hopes that defensive turnaround continues Sunday as they battle for a chance to be the number one seed in the NFC. Again, kickoff at State Farm Stadium, 125 on Fox. So for a complete rundown of the college football bowl schedule, you can head to our website at ncwlife.com. That's sports news. Have a happy new year. See you in 2021. Grant, back to you. Thank you very much, Eric, and happy new year. Now let's check in with Dan Koontz for a look at what's coming up tomorrow morning, or I should say Monday morning now on Wake Up Wenatchee Valley. Dan. Thank you very much, Grant. I'd like to take this opportunity on this New Year's Eve to thank everybody who watched this show over the previous year. Thank you, 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 thank you. I'd also like to announce that I will be leaving the NCW Live channel to pursue my dream of being a professional boxer. And if that doesn't pan out, I'll see you on Monday. Happy New Year. Grant, back to you. Thank you very much, Dan. Now let's check in, or I should say, that is going to do it for our newscast tonight. For more on these stories and other news from around North Central Washington, you can find us on Facebook or our website at ncwlife.com. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. You can send us an email at news at ncwlife.com or give us a call at 888-6295. I'm Grant Olson. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night and a happy new year from all of us at the NCW Life Channel. Pros, alignment pros. When your vehicle needs brakes, shocks, struts, or alignment, choose the experts in their field. Alignment pros and Express Lube with a five star rating. The work they perform on your vehicle is as impeccable as their shop. With state of the art equipment, alignment pros can handle all large or small vehicles. Specialty cars lifted or lowered, alignment pros does them all. Keep your car in top shape at Alignment Pros and Express Lube in East Wenatchee. Highlander Golf Course is proud to announce their two new state-of-the-art full-swing golf simulators with over 80 courses of virtual golf to choose from year-round. Or try their laser shot simulated firearm program or gaming with football, basketball, and much more. 
Enjoy Highlander food and drink service from their full service bar and grill in the comfort of their simulator room. Call the Highlander Pro Shop to book your time at 884-4653. That's 884-4653. Hey everyone, Fletcher and Amy Ellingson here from Live It Up. Join us every week as we answer your questions on health, wealth, and relationships. We're all about you creating a life that you love, so tune in to Live It Up.